सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सोल्यूशन वॉट आर सोल्यूशन सो इफ यू सी दिस वॉट आर सोल्यूशन देन दीज आर दी मिक्सचर्स ऑफ टू और मोर नॉन रिएक्टिंग सब्सटेंसेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन यू विल मिक्स सॉल्ट एंड वॉटर देन इट फॉर्म सोल्यूशन so if you see here that there are two components so solutions are also have two components two components the two components of solution are solute and solvent the component which is present in less amount is known as a solute so in the case of this salt is a small amount so in this case salt will be the solute or in the other way you can say that the component which is dissolved is known as solute so in the case of this uh, solute is dissolved in water so salt is solute then we will see solvent then the component which is present in more amount is known as solvent or you can say that the component in which the solutes are dissolved is known as solvent in the case of this example salt is dissolved in water so water is the solvent here so there are the two components of solution if you see the types of solution they on the basis of physical state on the basis of physical state solutions are of different type or you can say solutions are of nine type so for this we have to divide this into different columns first we will write solution second we will write solvent and third will be your solute and finally example of such solution if you will say solution then let us first of all study the solid solution in this case the solvent will be solid and the solute will be first it can be solid so it will make solid and solid type of solution and the example will be talcum powder talcum powder is the example of solid and solid alloy or also the example of solid and solid type of solution the second solute can be your liquid 
liquid in solid type of solution example is your moisture present in sugar and third is your gas the solid will be gas solvent will be solid so it will make gas in solid type of solution example will be your charcoal absorb wind gas means okay. charcoal absorb gas then it will be example of gas in solid type of solution next is your liquid solution liquid type of solution solvent will be liquid and the solute can be of different types first is your solid so solid and liquid type of solution example is salt in water or sugar in water second is your liquid and liquid type of solution example will be alcohol in water and third is your gas in liquid type of solution example is o2 in water so these are the examples of type of solutions on the basis of physical state next is your gas in this the solvent will be gas and on the basis of this i will rub it so third type gas type of solution so in this case the solution will be gas the solvent will be gas solute can be of different types so first is your solid in gas type solution example is sublimated camphor second is the liquid liquid in gas type of solution example is your moisture present in air next is your gas and gas type of solution example will be your air as air is mixture of gases so these are the type of solutions on the basis of physical state i will state also on the basis of physical state solutions are of nine type gas liquid and solid type of solutions and the components will be solid and gas type liquid and gas type gas and gas type so these are the type of solutions on the basis of physical state now we will discuss the examples of solution there are certain solutions which you see around you in your daily life we have to discuss these so the first solution is so we are discussing examples of solution the first solution is sugar in water solution if you will see this then there are two components one is sugar another is water if we see sugar then sugar is in small quantity water in large quantity
the sugar will act as solute and it will act as solvent. The solute is solid and solvent is liquid. So it will be an example of solid in liquid type of solution. Next second is your iodine in solution. Solution of iodine in alcohol. So if you see a solution of iodine in alcohol, then there are again two components iodine alcohol if you see iodine then iodine is solid alcohol is liquid it is in small quantity it is in large quantity so it will be the example of the solid will act as solute first and it will act as solvent. So it will be the example of again solid and liquid type of solution. And one more thing is, this solution which is made, that is alcoholic solution of iodine, I am writing here, alcohol slick solution of iodine is known as tincture of iodine. So remember it, it is an important point. So students, next we will see properties of solution. Like what are the properties of solution? So the next topic will be properties of So the first property of solution is the size of particles in solution is less than 1 nanometer. Second is the solutions are homogeneous mixture. Third is components do not have separate boundaries fourth is they are stable in nature what do you mean by stable in nature that if you keep them standing or you keep them undisturbed for some time then the components of the solutions will not separate so we can say that solutions are stable in nature fifth property is they do not show tendal effect so 
what is tendal reflex student they do not scatter light and down the show path of light so if a solution shows the path of light and scatter the light passing through it then the property is known as tendal effect if you see next property then the components of solution can't be separated by filtration so what is filtration the process by which we separate two components present in a solution using filter paper simple example of filtration is the filtration of tea at your home what you do you do pour, you pour the tea or pass the tea through this sieve the particles which are having greater size then the pore size of this sieve are retained on this sieve and the remaining come down the sieve this process is known as filtration if you will see the components of solution if we are filtering it using filter paper in this way this is your funnel we keep a filter paper in this this is your filter paper and when you will pass this solution through filter paper then all the components will pass through this filter paper so we cannot separate these solutions the components of solution by filtration why we cannot separate these components by filtration because the particle size is very less it is less than 1 nanometer and this particle size can pass through filter paper next is your concentration of solution if you will see concentration of solution concentrations of solution if you will talk about concentration of solution then on the basis of concentration solutions are of three types are of three types what are these three types of solution these three types of solutions are unsaturated solution second is your saturated solution and third is your super saturated solution so what are unsaturated solutions those solutions in which more solute can be dissolved are known as unsaturated 
Let us understand this unsaturated solution by the help of an example. So, example is that 100 gram of water can dissolve 36 gram of NaCl. So, if we make a solution 20 gram of NaCl in 100 gram of water, then such solution is known as unsaturated solution because we can add 16 gram of NaCl further into this solution. So, students, these are the unsaturated solutions, but we will further proceed this example if we add 36 gram of NaCl in 100 gram of water then it will form saturated solution why it will form saturated solution because now no more NaCl can be dissolved in this 100 gram of water remember it the condition is at 293 Kelvin both unsaturated saturated are taken at 293 Kelvin means you don't change you can't change the temperature of solution if you change the temperature of solution then the amount of solute which can be dissolved in 100 gram of water will also change so at 293 Kelvin, if you dissolve 36 gram of NaCl in 100 gram of water, then such solution is known as saturated solution. So, how we can define it? The solutions in which no more solute can be dissolved. are known as saturated solutions. Now we will discuss these super saturated solutions. If we dissolve the 36 gram of NaCl in 100 gram of water, then it becomes saturated solution. Now what you can do, take a saturated solution Example, you can take 36 gram of NaCl in 100 gram of water solution. Then what you will see that no more NaCl can be added in this saturated solution. But you start heating it. When you start heating it, then we will see that more solute can be added in this solution. In this case, when more solutes can be added in a saturated solution by increasing temperature, then the solution form is known as then solution form is known as supersaturated solution. For example, you had seen chashni. used in the lady. It is a super saturated solution of sugar and water. So these are the three types of solutions on the basis of concentration, unsaturated solution, saturated solution and super saturated solution. So one more thing I will uh, like to tell you that if you see the saturated solution, for example when you have dissolved 36 gram of NaCl in 100 gram of water, 
then after that point no more salt can be added or no more solute can be added at this point at the point of saturation rate of dissolution of solute is equal to rate of crystallization of solute these two rates are equal in the case of at the point of saturation so these are the type of solutions on the basis of concentration from this we can conclude that a particular amount of solvent can dissolve a particular amount of solute so by this we have concluded a new term that is solubility that what amount of solute can be dissolved in a particular amount of solvent so how we can define this solubility we had this is a standard term so we can define it as it is the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in hundred gram of solvent so the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in hundred gram of solvent is known as solubility but as we know that this amount of solute that can be dissolved in 100 gram of solvent changes with change in temperature so we have to mention a condition that that can be dissolved in 100 gram of solvent at fixed temperature so this is the definition for solubility then how we can express the mass percent of solvent solutes in a solution it can be expressed as mass percent of solute is equal to mass of solute upon mass of solution into So this will be the formula of mass percentage of solute. How you can uh, get the mass of solution? Mass of solution is equal to mass of solute plus mass of solvent. So in this way you can calculate the mass of solution. Now, students, we have to see the concentration. Next term is our concentration. Next term is our concentration. If you see this term concentration. Then it is the amount of solutes present in a solution. This concentration can be expressed. in terms of mass or volume 
So student, it is the amount of solutes present in a solution. It is solution. It can be expressed in terms of mass or volume. So on the basis of this amount of solutes present, on the solutions are of two types. Concentrated solutions and second is dilute solution. The solution that has high amount of solutes is known as concentrated solutions. What are dilute solutions? That has low amount of solutes and high amount of solvent. These are known as dilute solutions. So students, if you see these, concentration, then this concentration can be calculated by the amount of solute present in a solvent. So how you can calculate the concentration is equal to amount of solute upon amount of solution. By this formula, you can determine the concentration of a solution. Now, we have already seen that concentration can be expressed in two ways. So, two ways to expressing the concentration. So, concentration can be expressed as number one is mass by mass percentage and number two is mass by volume percentage So we have to see the details of these two expressions. So first we will see mass by mass percentage. In what way we can express concentration in mass by mass percentage. So first is your mass by mass percentage. If you will see mass by mass percentage then it is the amount of solute important is in grams amount of solutes in grams present in 100 gram of At fixed temperature. So it is known as mass by mass percentage. The formula will be mass by mass 
परसेंट ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज इक्वल टू ग्राम्स ऑफ सोल्यूट अपॉन ग्राम्स ऑफ सोल्यूशन इन टू हंड्रेड दिस इज दी फॉर्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ मास बाई मास परसेंट ऑफ सोल्यूशन कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ सोल्यूशन so if you see your ncrt then their ncrt there is example that uh, regarding this example is given in your ncrt let us see this it is your the question is a solution contain Forty gram of common salt. In three twenty gram of water. Calculate the concentration. Calculate the concentration in terms of mass by mass percentage of solution. So, what will be the solution? The solution will be. You are given the mass of solute. What is mass of solute? Is equal to forty gram NaCl. Mass of solvent is equal to three twenty gram water. So from this mass of solution. Is equal to mass of solute plus mass of solvent. Calculate it. Mass of solute forty gram plus mass of solvent three twenty gram is equal to three sixty grams. So mass of solution is three sixty grams. Now, what is the formula of mass by mass percentage of solution? Mass by mass percent of solution. Mass by mass percent of solution is equal to mass of solute. मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन इन टू हंड्रेड सो मास ऑफ सोल्यूट इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी ग्राम मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन थ्री सिक्सटी ग्राम इन टू हंड्रेड ग्राम कट वाई ग्राम वन नाइन सो इट विल बी और हंड्रेड अपॉन Nine, it will come around eleven point one percent. So this eleven point one percent is the mass by mass percent concentration of solution. Our students, we will be discussing mass by volume of solution. That how we can express the concentration of a solution in terms of mass by volume of solution. So students, if you see this, then how you will define it? It is the 
amount of solutes in bracket in grams. Present in 100 ml of solution. So this will define the mass by volume concentration of the solution. The formula for it is mass by volume percent of solution is equal to grams of solute upon volume of solution into 100. So using this formula you can calculate the mass by percent volume of solution. So students, let us understand it with the help of an example. Let us consider an example. Example is, if 25 gram of NaCl is dissolved, In water to make 100 ml of solution then what is mass by percent sorry mass by volume percent of concentration of So the solution will be mass of solute twenty five gram NaCl mass of solution is equal to 100 ml sorry it is not mass it is volume of solution is equal to 100 ml so mass by volume percent of solution is equal to mass of solute upon volume of solution into 100. So on putting the value you will get 25 is the mass of solute, 100 is the volume of solution into 100. 100 to 100 cancel. So it is equal to 25 percent mass by volume of NaCl. So in this way we can calculate the concentration of a solution. So students, uh, this is all about the concentrations of solution. With this we are ending our uh, session. We will continue in our next session. Thank you all of you. Madam.